Sight Taste is on the of the table. My name is Simplot. Sorry if I look really pink right now. Well, actually, I'm purple. But that is because I have my festive lighting on. For today's video, I know I'm recording on my phone again, but for this video, I'm going to show you guys how I decorated my room, aka Puzzle Piece Productions, for the holiday season. As we all know, my special series I do each year, Autismus, is arriving in a, in a matter of days, like literally by the time I'm, I'm, I'm uploading this, it'll be four days. I was thinking about doing this during Autismus, but that's when I realized, oh wait, I already did this, this I started off Autismus like this last year. And I am about to do a repeat. So, I thought I'd do it before Autismus, like a few days before. Still gotta get the Friday uploads, you know? So yeah, without further ado, let me show you guys how I decorated my room for Christmas. So the first thing we see, ooh, let me zoom out a little bit. There, are these snowflakes. I made these myself and I, yes, I had to come up with a, I had to look up a guide on how to make a paper snowflake cause it's been, it's been a few years since I made a snow, paper snowflake and uh the last time I made them it was in middle school and quite literally they fell apart into pieces so I had to look up a guide on how to do that so I made all four of these and I taped them to my door and basically I wanted to start there because you don't see that on camera and then you see, some of you hopefully have seen this in the background it is a wreath made out of pom-poms. It's hung up by a command hook. I've had it for years. Works pretty well, very durable. Now we move on to the media center, right here. Not much changed here. It, oh, I forgot to turn on those lights. Darn it. So basically I hung up this holiday garland using some scotch tape, which I think my scotch tape might be expired. Can, can scotch tape even expire? Because this adhesion on this thing, we just, not very well. Like I have to do that every, once or twice a day, if not every hour. But yeah, hung up. I know it's not at all symmetrical, but you know, screw it. And then we have green lighting on the LED light strip behind the TV. Well, behind the whole console area, actually. And of course, my screensaver on my TV. For the, I don't know if anybody noticed this because my webcam doesn't really pick it up that well, but it does go through a slideshow of Christmas trees, which I think I got that last year. I think I mentioned, I think it's one thing that stayed around last, from last year. Oh. Hello, Mr. Feline. And then we have this cute little Christmas tree, which I also got last year. I wasn't gonna put it up there on top of the media center, but I didn't have enough space, especially with the micro consoles there. Not much decorating on it. I'm I'm basic and minimalist, I guess, when it comes to decorating little trees like this, because less is more, especially with a tree like 18 inches tall. But I did incorporate a star, as usual. Like, you can't have a Christmas tree without a tree topper. And it is sitting on the boxes, which I will get to unboxing for Autismus. And, ooh, that thing. For those who don't remember from the internet made me buy it, this is a Starry Night projector. What does it do? It does this. Wait, it does this. Bluetooth mode. And it does, it makes that. But let's make it more festive. So if I turn off the blue, oh, where did the stars go? Oh, there they are. Then I turn on red. I said I turn on red and then green. Boom, festive. Yep, it's a, ooh, that's bright. Sorry if I blinded y'all. But yeah, very festive. Oh yeah, by the way, sorry if that blinds you guys. I'll adjust that, I hope, hopefully. But that is not pink, that's purple. And then we have these, which I forgot to turn on as well. Just some twinkle lights. I taped them to the door. They usually go on the tree, but I didn't have the space for it. 
especially where it's, the tree is currently. Stupid stutter. And then we move on to the desk, which is not entirely that festive, but oh well. We have a little snowman, which is currently replacing the 3D Illusion EV light, which I moved right there. I forgot to point that out. So yeah, this little snowman, I think it originally came from like Queen Hamzalot's work desk back when she worked full time. Now she's a full time grandma, stay at home grandma. So, and I help her out. I help her out with my nephew a lot. So yeah. And other things I have on the desk are a little gingerbread cookie, which hangs out on the speakers, and this guy. This is a craft I made from Christmas a few years ago. Came with a pom pom kit with Google eyes and some pipe cleaners. And yeah, I made the little dude over here. For those wondering his name. Oh gosh, I never made him. Oh gosh, I never gave him a name. I'll figure out something. Don't worry. And then the last thing we get to is the bed. Let me zoom out. Much better. Here's the bed, which for those who know, I usually have a duvet, which is uh currently in storage right now. But currently I don't really I don't really have a Christmassy duvet cover to put on the duvet insert, which is kind of a bummer because I really, really want a Christmassy duvet. Like I usually have a Storlax one, but that's not festive at all. So I decorate my bed like so. And for those who remember Autismus last year, yes, I have brought back Kelly the Eevee, Solar Flare the Flareon, Speedy the Jolteon, and Crystal the Vaporeon, who are sitting right behind me back when I used to film on my bed. Well, for last year anyway. And then I have these pillows, which this is not drawn on. That's actually an iron-on with a, like a cricket. And the scarf and the beanie it's wearing, wait, the beanie it's wearing, are actually hot glued on there. So that's pretty cool. I feel like Queen Hamza a lot and, my, and her sister, one of my aunts, basically got that for like, so my aunt could do a cricket business, but they tried to make one of these, couldn't figure it out. So, they, so they, that was just a prototype version that still looks pretty cute. And then these shirts, <clears throat> these pillows, were actually made from shirts by both my papas. God rest their souls. This pillow was made from my dad's dad's shirt, and this one was made from my mom's dad's shirt. And aunt, who is who makes the crazy stuff, very talented craftswoman. This blanket is a. Uh, I think I got this from like Kroger or something. I would say it's looking nice, but uh, I already have a hole in it. Ah, that's annoying. And then we have these pillows, which I know aren't really festive, but gray and white. I mean, at least one of them is white as snow, which is represents winter. And then the the sheets are like a plum purple, like a deep plum, honestly. So yeah, and I I did have something on this wall, which I know looks bare right now, but I took it on a poster, made this like four tier painting like with glitter glue and c computer paper that says I'm dreaming of a white autismus but the tape I was using it just wouldn't stick like every two hours I would have to restick it so about a week I had enough took it down and then there's Squire Squealer just chilling like a villain you know what I'm saying so I think with that being said that's the room tour so yeah I think that'll do for this video, guys. Sorry if the video is a little short. I feel like this video is a little too short. Oh well. But yeah, I still hope you enjoyed this video of how I decorated Puzzle Piece Productions, aka my bedroom, game room, studio, office, for the holidays. And if you did, drop a like like you're dropping the bass. Wow, wow. Give the subscribe and the awesome smack. And I'll see you fellow nights in the next video. Dudes.